What up, everybody? It's your boy Sega King up in this motherfucking man back with another video. As y'all can see from the title, Trump wins. Okay. Uh, before I get into what I'm about to get into, as y'all can see from the rest of the title, these are the people who need to be worried. These are the groups of people who should be worried. Hit that subscribe button below so you can be the first to know and help the channel grow. Now, I will say this before I get into any of this video. Regardless of who you voted for, all right, if you took the time to vote, salute to you. Because a lot of people, I took the time to vote. Even though I wasn't a fan of either candidate, I had to make the choice of the lesser of the two evils. Now, again, I salute everybody who took the time to vote because there's so many people online before and after the election that are going to complain about either candidate or about either result and they didn't take the time to vote. I don't want to hear y'all. You feel me? Uh, like y'all got the freedom of speech, yes, but I don't want to hear y'all. If you didn't take the time to vote, you, like your opinion is is void to me. You know what I'm saying? You just gonna have to deal with whatever you don't like because a non-vote is a vote for whoever you don't like. To me personally. Anyways, man. With that being said, I ain't gonna make. I'm trying not to make this video too long, but I do want to point out a difference in society, right? You can say what you want about Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris supporters, right? But when y'all woke up today, you didn't see nobody rioting. You didn't see nobody looting, burning shit down. You didn't see uh, people getting online talking about the election is rigged. You didn't see Kamala Harris over here acting crazy. Uh, she actually called him and conceded that he won and congratulated him, which I think is very classy. Um, she didn't have to do that because Donald Trump didn't do that the last election. Now, had Trump lost, today we would wake up to all kind of riots, all kind of militias forming up, all kind of proud boys, all kind of that other shit. Like, I wish God could give us a do-over just one day so we can see how life is now where everybody just has to go on with their life, whether they're happy about the election results or not. Or if we can just go back just for one day and show kamala harris winning and see how it would be today we already seen what happened on january 6 how them folks acted they wouldn't have waited till january 6 had he lost last night they would have started last night you feel me um so you can say what you want about kamala harris or her supporters at the end of the day people have class there's nobody out there saying this was rigged this is election fraud there's nobody down here burning shit down nobody's trying to storm no capital uh like i said she called and even you know congratulated him so th that was classy of her unlike what we would have seen had trump lost anyways to the topic now that trump is the president these groups of people have to be worried okay Let's start with minorities, black people. He's already said that he's going to give the police full immunity. And we know what that means. It's open season on black people. Any any time the black folks don't do something or, you know, that the police don't like, watch how much these police crimes are spiked against black people. Uh, Latinos, y'all are delusional as fuck voting for Trump. Uh, he's got on national TV so many times and made so many racist remarks about y'all and y'all still want to support this dude. Okay. Women. We know Trump is a misogynist and a lot of his supporters are white men misogynist. And, and before I get into any of that, I don't think that the majority of Donald Trump supporters, I, I don't think that at least a quarter of the Donald Trump supporters really like him as a person or agree with him as a person. I believe that this country is just not ready for a woman to be president, a black person to be president again, or even worse for those people, a black woman to be president. I think 25% of the votes that were cast for Donald Trump are simply because men do not want a woman to and let alone a black woman to be president, whether they will admit it or not. I'm going to keep it a band with y'all. Uh, personally, I don't, if I, I believe a woman can do just a better of a job as a man can in, in certain, in certain 
jobs and, and the presidency is one of those jobs all right we don't know how a woman will do as the president because we never had a woman as the president so i'm optimistic about that i'm a i'm a glass half full type of person you feel me um i i don't do well under female authority like i don't do well with authority period but i have had way better relationships with the male supervisors at jobs than i did female supervisors at jobs and that's for a variety of reasons to include my own personality and the way i grew up okay that's neither here nor there i was just making that point just to further the point of i believe that some men just don't want to see a woman let alone a black woman as presidents when it's still a white man's country you feel me we no matter who you vote for no matter what race you are we know that america is run by white men all right uh, Obama got in because people were just tired of fucking George Bush, all right? But, again, back to the people who need to be worried. Women, you need to be worried. Trump is a misogynist. His supporters are misogynist. Um, they already, you know, are limited some of y'all's rights as females. The list can go on. So we got minorities, blacks, and Latinos especially, even Asians. We ain't gonna forget Trump was... Uh, blowing racist ass dog whistles during covid the china virus blame it on china it's china whether that is true or not it was never proven so for you to get on national tv as the president of the united states and start blowing racist dog whistles like that um asians y'all should be uh weary too of this new regime that is about to take over right so minorities women Members of the LGBTQ, sorry if I got that wrong, uh, community, especially trans people, y'all should definitely be worried. Y'all might be, have to be more worried than some minorities, all right, depending on which part of America you live in. Y'all should be worried, okay? Um, regardless of how a person chooses to live their life, whether they're gay, whether they're straight, whether they're whatever, like, that everybody deserves respect at the end of the day now who i don't respect and y'all seen me make videos on this before is the people who who are really gay and try to act tough and gangster like they're not and then you find out that they doing gay shit y'all get the fuck out of here be yourself is my point and it's always been my point i don't mind somebody who sh who shows me who they are i mind somebody who is acting one way and really another way and that don't even have to do with being gay that just as a person if you acting real and you really a fake person let's just start there then yeah i mind motherfuckers like y'all because y'all are fake okay ukraine you have to be worried ukraine 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 should be the most worriedest motherfuckers even more worried than minorities and and members of that community and women because that money is about to shut down trump has already said he's gonna let russia do whatever the hell they want and i quote do whatever the hell they want to y'all so the only way i see this ending is trump trying to make a deal for ukraine to give up their land which ain't gonna happen even if they sign the papers you're still gonna have pockets of resistance you're still gonna have people in ukraine that's like fuck what the president says we're killing every russian that we can there ain't gonna never be no peace and i understand that you know what i'm saying um if a, if somebody invaded america let's just say you're from california let's just say china invaded invaded america from the west coast and they took over hawaii and california right and the new president or whoever came in and said you know what Let's just stop this war now. China, you can keep Hawaii and California and the rest of the United States. Just let them keep what they have left, which is basically what Trump wants to do with Russia and, and Ukraine. Just let Russia keep whatever lands they've gained, right? You think people in California and Hawaii wouldn't be fighting back motherfuckers every day <laughs> until they got their land back? You're crazy if you think, if, if you that type of person, hey man, you'll just lay down and fall for anything. Cause I know a motherfucker like me ain't gonna stand for no other country invading my city and my state without, even if there is a treaty. Nah, bro, Californians and Hawaii's people would be fighting to the death. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's either Donald Trump is gonna try to make some deal like that or 
or Congress is going to, he's going to get up there and say whatever he wants, but Congress is going to keep continuing to support Ukraine uh, financially because we still have an interest there. The same reasons why Russia wants to take over Ukraine, trust me, they're just doing it with force and they're not, they're not, they're letting all their cards be shown. We want this fucking land. Okay. America is doing it in a, in a slicker way. We're acting like we want to help out Ukraine. We don't give a fuck about Ukraine. We, we care about America. We care about our resources. We care about sustaining power for the next hundred years. Okay. So if we can use Ukraine to fight our proxy war against Russia and not have to put no boots on the ground and just give them weapons and money, that's what we're doing because we have the same interest as Russia does in Ukraine natural gas that they're sitting on you think uncle sam everybody's always complaining oh we gave ukraine billions and billions and billions check this out when when you owe uncle sam some money don't you have to pay him back you think these other countries ain't already being raped of their minerals and natural resources like iraq and afghanistan even though we don't see that in our pockets our country still thrives and we're able to sleep better at night because we took shit from other countries my point is, is that, you know, we have the same interest in Ukraine as Russia does. We just trying to guise it as a diplomatic thing, like we're helping some people. But really, we don't give a fuck about what happens to Ukraine. We just care about their natural grass. At least Russia's keeping it real. And like, fuck, we ain't going to try to sugarcoat this shit. We taking over. All right. So Ukraine got to worry. Um, Taiwan should be on alert. Taiwan, you need to be on alert. Uh, and with that being said, Taiwan, the Philippines, uh, Japan, Korea, all y'all need to be on alert as well. Because once Taiwan is attacked, America, you know, Donald Trump can get on, get up there and say whatever he want. Congress, the House of Representatives, you know, all these other bodies of legislature in America are going to have the final say. The president doesn't have the final say on every fucking thing. Um, and Taiwan is the most important country, like I told y'all in other videos when I went there, because they have the most unique semiconductors. Now, Trump could make a deal with China and just say, hey, take that shit back over and cut us in on the semiconductor deals. And who's going to be next? The Philippines, you know what I'm saying? China's already showing aggression with them. Japan, you know what I mean? They right next door. What's stopping China from invading Japan next? Korea? uh north korea been waiting to push the button on south korea you know so i think taiwan should be not in as much worry as ukraine but very on alert uh as far as israel and gaza that shit's gonna continue to go on uh our our country america is gonna continue to fund both because we need chaos and unsustainability in the world for us to thrive too. That's how Boeing, that's how Lockheed Martin, that's how Halliburton, that's how uh Blackstone, BlackRock, all these con all these companies that y'all can look up, that's how they stay in having so much money and power and they're ran by these rich ass families because without war their production stops. If their production stops, jobs are lost. So we like regardless of how America wants to portray themselves, we don't want world peace, bro. We don't want world peace because that's going to cut off so many jobs in America. You know, people can say, oh, we given uh, Ukraine billions of dollars. Well, guess what? We've also employed 300,000 people to work at these companies to make these weapons in order to ship it over there. So it's kind of like a catch 22. Yeah, on the surface, it looks bad to Americans were giving away all this money, but nobody's thinking about how many jobs that has given people, you know, if you find those people that have those jobs, they'll tell you, no, we need to keep this going because in other words, we're out of a job. If motherfuckers stopped eating McDonald's and just only ate fucking Taco Bell every day, like all them employees would have to go find a new job or get fired. You know what I'm saying? If Taco or if, if McDonald's ain't going to figure out no way to keep burgers a thing just like if america don't find a way to keep you know unsustainability a thing in the world whether it's gaza ukraine africa somewhere like we need wars to happen in order for a lot of jobs in america to sustain it sounds fucked up but that's just the way that capitalism works all right so you know regardless of who you voted for 
you know, um, I voted for Kamala Harris, but I voted or I bet for Donald Trump to win. You know what I'm saying? So either way, I win this morning. Like I just cashed out all the money that I won from betting that Donald Trump will win. But I voted for Kamala because that was the right thing to do morally to me. You know what I'm saying? Even if I didn't believe that she was the perfect candidate, either one of them, I still had to pick between one of the two people, unfortunately. And, um, you know, like I said, Donald Trump won. Thank God. Now these people who don't, you know, they can they can go on with their lives, hopefully, because they worship this dude. Just like we had to go on with our lives after she lost. But... I'm telling y'all now, and we can revisit this uh, because it's not going to be long once he takes power that he's going to flex his power and we're going to be reminded why we didn't want to fuck with him in the first place, right? It's kind of like, I'll, I'll end it with this. It's kind of like, it's kind of like you would, you, you got a boyfriend or a girlfriend, right? And they just do so much shit that you don't like. And after four years, you're like, you know what? Fuck this. I can't take it no more, right? So you get rid of them. We got rid of Donald Trump. Then you go out and you play the field a little bit. You might get with somebody else, you know. But when times get lonely or this person ain't doing exactly what that person did, even though that person was bad for you, you're going to start reminiscing and getting lonely. And you might want your ex back. So you're like, you know what? It's been four years later. Uh, you know, maybe this person has changed, you know, and, and I'm going to give Donald Trump the benefit of the doubt that hopefully he's a changed person and he learned from his last time, but I doubt it. Like once somebody shows you who they are, you got to believe them, which will prove my point here in a second. So you get back with this ex-girlfriend four years later, right? After you played the field or had a girlfriend or a boyfriend or two, you know what I'm saying? Depending on which, which, uh, gender you are, maybe you like them both. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? And then the first you know, let's say you was with a combative person and you broke up with the bitch or the dude because they was combative, all right? Then y'all get back together four years later, everything's going good. And the first argument you get into, they smack the fuck out of you and you're reminded why I didn't want to be with this person. My point is, is, is not going to be long before we are reminded by actions or words or both why we chose to get rid of Donald Trump in the first place. And people have, have just been so delusional and brainwashed for the last four years you know or just so uh disgruntled with the party that they're willing to take on somebody who we got rid of you feel me like when somebody show you who they are believe them but unfortunately we don't live in that kind of world where people use logical sense so i'm telling y'all now right and y'all can quote me on this y'all can go visit visit this video we are going to be reminded why we didn't fuck with Donald Trump anymore after four years. We are going to be reminded. It, it, it will not take long, okay? But if you're a minority, if you're a woman, if you're Ukraine, if you're Taiwan, if you're uh, a, a member of the LGBT community, y'all definitely should be worried. Y'all have the most to worry about including myself, but I live in Japan, fortunately, so I just get to sit back and watch the show, you know what I'm saying, but uh, again, salute to everybody who actually took the time to vote, no matter who you voted for, because people have died, rioted, uh, protested, been killed to vote, uh, it hasn't even been a 100 years since black people and women could vote, so regardless of who you vote for, even if you didn't vote this time around, make sure you vote next time around, because it does matter it does matter man in the end it does matter all right that's the rant for the day sorry i made this video so long hit that subscribe button below so you can be the first to know and help the channel grow it's king